It's been 22 years since the release of the original Pokemon Snap on Nintendo 64, and today we've got new Pokemon Snap here on Nintendo Switch. What's up guys and welcome to new Pokemon Snap part one, the beginning baby. We are going to be checking this thing out, just came out this morning and uh, I'm excited. I'm excited to embark on a new adventure here, see what this is all about. Capture some nice photos of some uh, some nice Pokemon and uh, here we go. So going to be choosing our appearance. I guess we're just going to go with this first one up here in the top left. Going to be able to choose our name. Could be T Martin. I'm gonna I'm gonna say let's 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 be Trev. Let's let's be a bit more personal here. So welcome to the world of new Pokemon Snap, Trev. They were really creative with that title, new Pokemon Snap. Here we go. Pikachu, Eevee, and some. Gen 3 plus Pokemon I don't recognize. Laboratory of Ecology and Natural Sciences. Guys like that, laboratory? Real fancy out here. So yeah, this is gonna be fun, man. I'm, I mean, I'll wait till the intro's over. What a good boy. Greetings. How you doing? I'm here to take some photos. Professor Mirror. Hi there, I'm glad you made it. Mm -hmm. Welcome to the laboratory, I almost said laboratory. Laboratory of Ecology and Natural Sciences, or LENS for short. Like a camera lens, I like it. My name is Mirror. Because he's, you know, mirrors a part of like a, you know, DSLR. I'm researching Pokemon in their natural environment here on Florio Island. Yeah, so yeah, and that's not all. The professor's gonna study every single island here in the Lintol region. <laughs> no one's ever done an ecological survey like this before. It's gonna be amazing. Huh? No one? Aren't you forgetting a certain explorer? <laughs> Oops, good point. You've read the stories of Captain Vince, haven't you? But no. But even counting him, Professor, your survey is going to be the first of its kind in a hundred years, and that's awesome. Thank you. Well, thanks. This is Rita. Her parents are good friends of mine. She's here on vacation while our school's on break. Jeez. Not just here to goof off, Professor. I'm your research assistant. <laughs> ha, yeah, that's right. And I appreciate the help. Anyway. Now, before we go over what you'll be doing in this program, why don't we step into the lab to get settled? Yeah. Right you are, Professor. I'll lead the way. Okay, so nice little formal intro here. We're getting to know the people. We've got Professor Mir, Rita, lots of Pokemon walking around. Allow me to explain. The Lintel region is absolutely teeming with Pokemon. Photographing these Pokemon helps us learn more about them and their ecosystem. And that's exactly what you're here to do. At night, you might even get to see glowing Pokemon. They're really pretty. All right. Now, without further ado, here's your research camera. All right. Nice, looks pretty, pretty capable. I've got the same one. We can use them to communicate with each other and the rest of the team too. That's right. It's more than just a camera. It'll let you keep in touch and analyze data on the fly. Yep. Is it a Pokedex as well? It'll serve as a sort of ID badge for you here. So take good care of it. That is a very futuristic camera. Whoa. Awesome, right? <laughs> the professor invented it. Professor. Can I explain how to use it, Professor? Anyway. Sure thing, Rita. Assist away. I'll go take care of some other preparations. <laughs> Perfect Ooh. timing. Try getting a shot of that Pokemon. You can press the A button to take a photo. Okay. Nice. So we've actually got people talking now. I guess let's just... Yes! Nice going! All right. That's our first photo. Now why don't you try moving the camera to line up your shot? Okay. See that circle in the center of your viewfinder? That's called the pointer. If you use the left stick to move the pointer around, the camera will move the followers. I mean, this seems pretty obvious. I, I'm just going to skip the tutorial part. Back in the lab here, it's time to get our job, I would imagine. How is that? I hope you're getting the hang of your research camera. Now then, I'll evaluate the photos you took. Would you mind choosing one shot of each Pokemon you photographed? I'll rate them using my special scoring system. Pick whichever shots you think are the best. I didn't know we were getting graded already. I wasn't actually trying that hard. So we've got a Pikachu here. <laughs> Neither one of these are framed very well. I'm just gonna go with that one. We're gonna check out Vavillian. I mean, that, that first one was pretty good. Let's go ahead and show the prof, see what he thinks here. 
Gonna take a look at them, starting with photo number one. A new discovery. Nice. All right, it's our first time taking a pick of Pikachu. First thing I do is rate each photo from one to four stars. I came up with a system to help us understand, categorize how Pokemon behave. Photos of Pokemon in order, ordinary state gain fewer stars. More unusual behavior means more stars. Okay, so I, I mean, he was sniffing, sniffing the flowers there. It wasn't wasn't really that good of a, a photo. So we got a one star photo placement. All right, come on. This is taking so long. Total of 2930. We can do better. Our first ever expedition. Here we go. We are off. I mean, this would, this would be pretty cool. One of my like life goals is to go on a, a crazy Enjoy your first photo expedition. African safari and like get a really nice lens for it, long lens and take some photos of cheetahs and lions and stuff like that but um yeah man it's gonna be interesting i'm gonna i'm gonna keep it real with you guys this is probably gonna be kind of a one and done style video i i don't think this is you know a full youtube series style of game more like something i'm just gonna play for fun you know That's the entrance around the house or on planes or whatever it's the entrance to florio nature will automatically follow a set route okay just focus on looking around and taking photos. Got a Pichu, Dodrio. Dude, I mean, this this is kind of pretty cool, I'm not going to lie. So we have this, and we can also zoom in and take pictures of things. Ooh. A, a Bufalant. We've got a whole group of Bufalants out there. Might as well. Dodrio. Got a nice close face-up of Dodrio. Pavilion up there. So we are essentially just on a Pokemon safari here. We're just... You know, going on a little tour through the... Uh, ooh, that was a, a nice photo right there. Dodrio with a few others in the backgrounds. That's kind of a scenic one right there. We'll take it. But yeah, this... I mean, this is a, a chill game. It's it's not something I think that we're going to end up doing a, a full series on or anything like that. It's, I kind of wanted to see see what it was about. Who is this? A Molga? Dude, I am a... I'm like a gin... Gen 1 mainly, Gen 2, Gen 3, a little bit of Gen 4, and that's about all I've got. Worm pull down there. Oh, we can take photos of crystal blooms. I know you do get items. You could start throwing items at Pokemon and all kinds of stuff like that. Um, I mean, this is chill. I, I appreciate it. We got a Magikarp out there. I heard something big off to our left. Got some Talos. Group of them. Swana. I like that it's, it's bringing up the... Uh, the names. Got Magikarp jump here. I'm going to get him in the air. Beautiful work. Ooh, this is a nice photo. How about this one? Something like that. Like that. There we go. I don't think we have a lot of other control besides just a bit of a zoom. Got to look up in the trees. Another Pichu out there in the grass. Badoof. Badoof, Badoof. Magikarp, Magikarp. Jump again, bro. Magikarp, jump. Come on. It's crazy to think about how far we've come. I, so, I never had an N64, which, I I mean, that's a really sad thing for me to admit. I always wanted one. I've honestly been thinking about buying one just for old times' sake. What is in there? A hoot hoot. He's not awake yet, though. We got him sleeping. Let me check what's back here before we move on. Ooh, a nesting Dodrio. That's a nice photo right there. That's... Well shot. Let me try to get this hoot hoot in case he wakes up. Hey! Yo, wake up! I'm getting that, that rear end. It, it's kind of nice though. Can't front. Um, but I, I do remember going over to like friends' houses or like cousins' houses and stuff when I was... I, I mean, I was, I was young. I was, what, seven years old when the original Pokemon Snap came out. So it wasn't like a, a thing that I've ever had the chance to play a lot of. But to just think about... You know, you guys saw in the intro. Ooh, this is this is cool. I like this this meadow. You guys saw in the intro the uh, just the graphics and how everything has changed to this is, is pretty incredible. And now it's in the palm of our hands. Look at these fields of flowers, man. This is incredible. Oh, hey, Flores. That symbol marks the spot where you'll teleport back to camp. Okay. Who is that out there? The end of the course. A comfy. When you get back, I'll take a look at your photo. All right. So I don't know, like, uh, are we limited to a memory card here or something like that? Like, should I just be spamming photos as much as possible? Or should we be, like, really trying to be 
cautious and line them up and make them look good. So we got 41 photos of 14 Pokemon in the Florio Nature Park. Show me some photos you took. Choose one photo per Pokemon. Okay. So you, you gotta you gotta be a little bit a little bit you know smarter about this. I mean neither one of these are good. I guess he's playing he's playing Peekaboo there. Dodrio, I know the one. We're gonna go for this one. Buffalot. Probably go for this one. This is a nice photo right here of, of Florgus. Never heard of that Pokemon, but that's that's solid. I feel like a couple of these are pretty nice too. Ooh, I like all three of these, dude. Look at that. I, I mean, that one's solid, but it's a little bit busy. This one is, is you know, really focuses on the subject here. There's not a lot going on in the, the background, but this one really kind of sets the scene. That one's beautiful. I would put that one up on a wall. I like that. We've got the Magikarp jumping, so that's going to give us a two-star. That's exciting. I mean, a few of these were really not not that great. <laughs> this one, he's hovered up above the ground. Okay, we'll, uh, we'll take it. Look, look at this look at this great hoot hoot photo right there just back claw and then we've got a few comfies here I'm just gonna do that one all right let's uh let's show him see what he thinks got a four thousand on that dodrio that's pretty good I feel like this is a pretty solid one I like his his rings on his horn we got a uh, 2800 on that not our our best 2200 on on the butterfly, we're going to keep that. Okay, so you can have four photos per Pokemon. You want a one-star, two-star, three-star, and four-star, and you want to keep the best one possible. That makes sense. This one, he's hanging in the tree. That's a pretty solid one. Three thousands. Silver star. We got a Wurmple here. That one's just kind of nothing. This one I'm proud of. This one looks really good. We, we got a lot of colors in there. Right up front and personal, really close, solid photo. Yeah, that one, that one's gonna come out with a 4,067. Diamond star, baby. Your boy is a great photographer. That's actually, it's something I wanna get better at. I was, you know, obviously with the, the traveling and the, the cruising and stuff that Chelsea and I do, um, you know, starting to try to learn, but I, I've, I've got a, a long way. Maybe, maybe I'll learn a thing or two in this. Now this one, the subject was a little bit further away. I just felt like the composition was really nice. It looks like the game prefers close-up subjects though. So we're gonna have to uh, have to keep that up. We've got a Magikarp here. Again, decent composition, kind of sets the scene. He's jumping, it's a two-star, but it, I don't think it was close enough. I think they really want close-ups of the Pokemon. What a great photo here. Nice job, Trev. This one's gonna be good, come on. Show me the money. This is a great, oh, oh, 1100 on the side, 2900. Uh, we'll take it. That, that's actually pretty, that's a pretty solid score for the butt of a hoot hoot. So we, we unlocked a night visit to Florio. Hopefully you'll be able to see one of Lintel's greatest wonders, a glow called the Illumina Phenomenon. Speaking of. You're the one who discovered how that glow happens, right, Professor? Mm -hmm. Yes, I am, but explaining the process scientifically was just one step towards my ultimate goal. Finding the special Pokemon spoken of in the legends of Lintel. You mean the uh, Lumina Pokemon? I thought they were made up. No. No. They're very much real. You've seen the photos from Captain Vince's travelog, haven't you? So there's glowing Pokemon out there. They glow naturally. You can barely what tell what's in those photos, and they're ancient anyway, literally a hundred years right old. Now. Well, we could discuss that later. For now, enjoy your nighttime out. Nighttime, baby. This is this is gonna be fun. Obviously, we're gonna get Sleeping Pokemon, someone like that Hoot Hoot is actually going to be awake. We'll see some of the nocturnal ones. We'll obviously see different types of Pokemon as well. Watch for differences in their behavior. Score Bunny's running and on fire. I'd love to get a, a better headshot of him, but we can't. Got a sleeping Buffalon. That's a nice fro you got there, man. A nice throw. We've got Bidoof's just wandering around. I'd like to see that score bunny again if we could. Oop, oop. Pidgeot, get back here. Get back here. Shoot. Okay. I hear something off to our right. Nice. That was a pretty good photo. But that shot's going to be fantastic. Do you got to just react quickly. What's Tangrowth? No clue what that is, but I'll take a photo of it. We got Caterpies up in the trees. Try to get one nice up up close and personal. Got Merc Rose. Not our best shots, but we're fine. I'm looking for that hoot hoot up in the tree. Hmm. I like that you kind of have to 
really look and search. Like, it's it's not a guarantee. They're not just going to pop out and say, hey, take a picture of me. You got to you gotta look up in the trees. You got to look in the bushes. You got to do a lot of, uh, ooh, what are these? Torteras? A, a glowing swana? Is that what we're looking to get pictures of? Keep your eye up in the sky, Trev. He was definitely flying around. Oh! Keep an eye on him. You got him. Let him get a little bit. He went behind the thing. Oh, we got a Pidgeot right there, dude. That Look at that mane, bro. That is insane. I've always loved Pidgeot. When I was playing back in the day and like, you know, Pokemon Red and Blue and stuff like that, Pidgeot was always a, uh, a staple. Ooh, we got a Hoodoo up in the tree. That's a good photo right there. I'm looking. Ooh. These guys are creepy looking. Very creepy looking. We got a mid-flight right there. Not bad. I'm thinking maybe we want to start really just kind of spamming. Hmm. Let's see what else we have here. Like if we just, you know, rapid fire. To oh. oh, there was a Pichu sleeping with the Torterra back there. We missed it. We got a pincer out here. All kinds of new Pokemon. What's up, dude? Got a Hoot Hoot up there. Oh, thank you. Forgot the hooted up in the tree. Could have got a nice close up of that. Oop. Got that guy. Snap that real quick. We'll take it. More Torteras out here. Just trying to get him nice and centered. This Torterra is actually moving, thankfully. Oh. Work it, girl. Work it. Work it. Work it. That's what I'm talking about. Uh-huh. All right. There's our... Or whatever you want to call it. Teleporter. Got combies all over the place here. Hey, can you copy? We'll take it. We just picked up a huge energy reading near you. Huge energy reading where? We're busy trying to make sense of the data. Let's ask him about it when you get back. Excuse me? What? What is this? <laughs> How you doing? Something incredible has happened. Here, take a look at this. This is the energy thing that you were talking about? Here's the thing. When you got near that field of flowers, I picked up an incredibly strong energy reading. Also. It sort of seemed to be moving too, if only slightly. Suggest that we've got what we've got here is an Illumina Pokemon. Mm -hmm. We can't be sure yet, but I suspect so. I wonder why it showed up. Did you do anything special? I also doubt that it appeared when it did by chance. So I think you should be the one to investigate the area where that reading is coming from. What? Oh, I want to go see too. You can watch through the monitor with me, right. Rita. Please head out as soon as you're ready. Oh, shoot. Okay, this is kind of exciting. An Illumina Pokemon, eh? You don't say. Here we go. Let's go on an Illumina adventure. Let's go to the Illumina spot in Nature Park. All right, the Illumina spot. This is kind of cool. I mean, there's a little bit of story here. There's a little bit of, of adventure happening. You know, at, at the end of the day, you're kind of a tourist in a well, buggy taking photos. But coming from. Do you see or hear anything? I don't. Not yet. Jigglypuff. Tyranitar? Who is that? Oh, shh! Take a photo! The Illumina Pokemon. Quick, get its picture. Do what you're here to do, you dimwit. I'm taking as many as possible. Get back here. Hey, look at that booty. Hey, turn. Look back at it. Look back at it. Okay. I think I think we can do better than this. Come on. Come on. 
Get him running along through here. I mean, shoot. Sniffing the flowers isn't a bad one. I mean, this is kind of cool. He's happy. Get a nice face close up there. Dude, this is epic. So you, you basically, these are like the bosses and, and you've got to find them. Get him looking at the rock there. Got a nice tree in the foreground just to set the scene a little bit. Have one peeking around the tree. Get some nice up close in front of him. Got 43 spots left. Get some nice headshots here. Work it, girl. Work it. That's what I'm talking about. Look at that. Or it's a, it's a guy. Sorry. Work it, bro. Work it. That's a cool photo right there. Smelling the flowers. So that's... Is that what makes him grow? Dude, this is pretty dope. But yeah, you get these... You gotta, you know, find these bosses. These aluminum Pokemon. And then you get to have, like, a special one-on-one -on -one moment with them. I mean, this game... It's fun. I, like I said, I don't know if it makes a fantastic... Uh, get him, you know, running. Dude, look at this night sky. That's beautiful. We got a moon up there somewhere. I'm gonna take a photo of the night sky. There it is. I don't know if it makes a great... YouTube series. It's it's a little low-key or something like that. He's gone. Sorry, I was taking pics of the night sky, Professor. Uh, the energy reading is gone, too. Let's chat when you get back. Ah, okay. So the Illumina phenomenon is when he when he eats this flower. So, like, th it's not happening yet, but then when he ingests it, that's when he gets all sparkly and nice. That's a pretty good photo right there. I'm not gonna lie. I, I like that one. Let's see what else we have. I mean, we know that they kind of prefer close face-up. Something like that is pretty good. This is tough. I really like this one. Got a nice balance of colors, but he's, he's not facing towards us. They're not happening in any of these. Ooh. See, like, this one's pretty nice. He's obviously very happy. Oh, he's just having the time of his life. Dude, this is kind of cool to see. I mean, it it's very realistic looking. I like this one a lot. I also really like this one. I think I'm gonna go with this. All right. We also got a picture of the crystal bloom with him up there sniffing it. All right. Let's have a look. Here we go. Dude, it sucks that you have to throw out all but one photo. I, I don't know. You want size, direction, placement, background. I mean, a, a 5,500 double diamond star. That, that's our best photo we've taken. That that was cool. Dude, I, I, this is kind of cool. I, I'm not going to lie. Like, I, I wasn't expecting to like it as much as I did here. Yes, you're back. Uh -huh. That was amazing, right? Wasn't it gorgeous? Wasn't it huge? And that's what she said. Rita. Easy there, Rita. Take a deep breath. Calm down. They, you don't need to be talking like this in front of me. Look who's talking. You're practicing, practically dancing, Professor. <clears throat> Moving on. There's no doubt about it that Meganium was an Illumina Pokemon, just like in the Legends. Remind me what the Legends say about Illumina Pokemon again, Professor. Didn't they supposedly save Linthal from a huge disaster a long time ago or something? So the story goes, yes. Illumina Pokemon were also said to have distinctive patterns and glow with unusual light. That's exactly what we saw. Right. Yes, to the letter. Convinced the events in those Legends really did happen. And discovering the true history of this region could be the key that opens up all of our oh. research. Hold on, wasn't there one more important thing you want to mention, Prof? That's right, it's pretty late. Let's pick up the conversation from here tomorrow. Hmm. So that's... We went on three expeditions in our first day. Already met an Illumina Pokemon. Things are going pretty well. I would venture to say we're the right person for the job. Good morning, you managed to get some sleep. Now, as Rita already told you, Here's the thing. I've been preparing to launch an ecological survey spanning the entire Lenal region. And no sooner had you arrived that we suddenly found an Illumina Pokemon. Think there's a connection, Professor? I can't be sure yet. But, but fascinating things are bound to happen if you come with us. Really? Really? <laughs> well, you know, maybe. Jeez. For a scientist, you sure can be vague sometimes, Professor. What? Still, I think it's a good idea. <laughs> It'll be way more fun with you alone. Right. Well, there you have it. Ready to officially join our research team? I guess so. Well? Hmm? Call me Professor Trev. Excellent. Well then, let's make it official. With a team badge. Ah, we're still earning badges here. They're just not gym badges, but we'll take it. Cool. So there you have it, guys. That, my friends, is a little intro here to new Pokemon Snap. And uh, 
Honestly, like, I, I knew it was going to be a chill game. I knew it was going to be something that's just kind of fun to pick up and play whenever, but... I, I actually kind of liked it more than I expected. You know, there, there is a little bit of a story happening here. There's obviously, you know, quite a bit of progression and just the, the challenge of trying to frame up nice looking shots and stuff is a little bit more fun than I was expecting. I, I thought it'd just be kind of meh, but uh, it, it's actually pretty fun. So let me know what you guys think. Again, you know, even though I did have a good time with it, I don't think this is going to be a video for or a series for YouTube. Uh, for whatever reason, Switch games just never really do well on YouTube. People, I, I, I don't know. There's some channels that do only Switch and those do really well. But for most channels, Nintendo Switch videos, myself included, they, they just don't do well. So, uh, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. If you guys want to see some more, I'm totally down to do it. If this video doesn't do that well, I'm glad we at least checked it out. And I will be playing this on my own. I'm thinking Chelsea's probably going to kind of like it too. So, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to see you guys later. Peace out.